When the world embraces Jesus Christ, no one will fight over a piece of land. No one. I can assure you this. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and... Why is the world darkness? Because the ruler of the world is Satan. So if light is knowledge, guess what? Darkness is also another form of knowledge. The Big Bang Theory, evolution, darkness. What the world does, bombards you with knowledge. There is an explosion of knowledge on social media platforms everywhere. Every angle, every corner, wherever you turn, there is knowledge, 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 knowledge. But not every knowledge is light. Because there is only one source where this knowledge is light. It has to come from Jesus Christ. That is the only source. Outside of Jesus Christ, there is only darkness. And the life is the light of men. So if life is the light of men, then darkness is the death of men. Yes? Then darkness is the death. So now, what leads you to life? Knowledge. And what leads you to death? Also knowledge. Don't forget, what did our father Adam eat from in order to end up being dead? The tree of knowledge. It was the tree of knowledge. The knowledge of good and evil. But it was a tree of knowledge. See, this is the secret word. God pre-warned Adam out of love. He said, my son, be careful what kind of a knowledge you obtain and chase and follow. Be careful because not every knowledge will lead you to life, to the light. There is knowledge that will lead you to darkness, death. And so many people have gained knowledge that led them to darkness. And when they lived in darkness, they were not able to understand, comprehend the light. What gives me life is love. And what leads me to love is knowledge. Let me break it down. I cannot claim, you may have heard this a hundred times, hear it one more time. I cannot claim to love someone I don't know. I can only love the person I came to know, true or not. If I don't know someone, how can I claim that I love someone I never knew? I can only, lo I can only love the person I know. So now, when I came, why did John the Beloved introduce Jesus Christ to the entire world as God but as the Word. Why? Because the Word gives you the knowledge. It is the Word that gives you the knowledge. So why did the Son come? Because He is the knowledge that will lead you to love. Because when you come to know a person, 
by knowing them, you begin loving them. When you begin knowing the person, you then begin to love them. The first time you met Elizabeth or Rachel or Rosanna or Joanna, the first time you met her, you don't know her. So you went up to her, introduce yourself, and I am Jono. Hello, Rosanna. This is Jono, the one and only. You began to know each other. That's the first thing that happens. But what pushed you toward her was love. But love is the reason for you walking up to her, but it's still hidden. Until you know her, you won't be able to love her. But love was the reason. Otherwise, what are you doing talking to this girl? If it didn't tick in your heart. <laughs> An earthquake. <laughs> so you went up to her and you introduced yourself and you started talking. After one week, after one month, you got to know each other. The more you got to know each other, the more you started loving the person. You started loving the person. When you love the person, what happened? You gave yourselves to each other in a matrimonial bond. When you gave yourself to each other in a matrimonial bond, what ended up being out of that marital bond? Life came out, a born, a newborn baby, life. <laughs> Love gives life. But what leads to that love is knowledge. Jesus Christ is that knowledge that will lead you to true love. And when you receive that true love, that true love will give you life. That life will be your light. You'll walk in the light. Everything is vividly clear. Everything is vividly clear. So when people of the world come to deceive you, you will know it. Because when the light shines, darkness disappears. Everything becomes apparent. Clear. So the pandemic was darkness. There was no plan. Oh, there was a pandemic, but there was no pandemic because that was deception. That's 100%. I don't care what they say with all love and respect, but it was a lie. And look at the world. Everyone is lying to everyone else. Why? Because they all live in darkness. This is all they know. You see, their, their teacher now is Satan. When they chose to live in darkness, the one who ruled over them, Satan. Satan. What did the Lord Jesus say about Satan? The father of all lies. But what is a lie? Also knowledge. However, this kind of a knowledge is fake. Can I, I'll leave you with this. What is fake? A dream. Now, please, when I talk or when we talk, please don't just build everything on what we say. I say, oh, so when, I, when Jesus came in a dream to me, was that fake? Please, don't, I'm, I'm talking in a general sense, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's a case by case. Not every dream is fake, but a lot of dreams are fake. But not every dream is fake. Yes? So when I say dream is fake, I'm talking about a specific point here. So many times we get misunderstood. <laughs> That's human nature. Anyway, well, what, is, what is fake? A dream. Why the dream being fake? What is fake? A story, knowledge built on false foundation. A story, which is knowledge, built on false foundation. Let me elaborate. Let's say I am in a dream, and in that dream, I am a king. Now, while I'm dreaming, to me, it's not a dream. That's reality. You don't dream and you say, oh, no, it's only a dream. I'm going to wake up from it. You don't say that. You think this is real. This is the real deal. Wow, I'm a king in the dream. So I, I, I came 
um, I acknowledge that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a king, that's it. So in that dream, for me it's real. I'm king. I believed it. I lived it. Wow. So I rule. Hey you, bring me coffee. Hey you, go and knock that guy's head off. I'm a king. I rule. And then my mom, my good, my good old mom came and tapped me on the shoulder. Wake up, wake up. And I wake up startled. And I face reality. I'm a cleaner, not a king. All that knowledge, all that dream was built on fake foundation. This is our life on earth. Dream built on fake foundation. If we chase this world and this world only, then we are building everything on one big lie. What is the lie? I worked hard all my life. I did not have time for the Lord Jesus. I'm a Christian. I was born in a Christian family. I was baptized. I was raised as a Christian. I, I, I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. But then when I grew older, I started working. But there is nothing wrong with work. Yes, absolutely true, my son and my daughter. Nothing wrong with work. So I started working in order to achieve something in the future. I want to build a future for myself, especially after I got married for my wife and my children, for my family. So I worked seven days a week, 14 hour shifts. I had no time for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The father came, the bishop came and said, my son, I haven't seen you in church for a long time. I'm so sorry, father. I wish, I wish, I wish I had the time to come. Believe me, Father, I'm so busy. You know how it is. Life and its responsibilities. I've got a family to look after. So I'm working, Father. But the moment I have the time, I will come and you will see me in the church. The day never came, but one day came for sure and no escape from it. The day came where the spirit left the body and I was put in that casket and everything that I was living, thinking is real was nothing but a dream when the spirit left the body. A dream. All gone. The mansion, the cars, the gold, the pearls, the diamonds, the money in the bank account, gone with the wind just like that the moment the spirit left the body. So what was all this knowledge I gained? Fake. Because I did it outside of God. I forgot. The one who came and became man. God revealed in the flesh. The one who suffered for me. The one who died for me. The one who was buried for me. And the one who resurrected for me is the rightful honor of everything and everyone. I forgot that all that running, doing that business, I forgot God, who gave me that life? God. Without this breath going in and out, there is no life. Who is the source of this life? God. God. Who gave me this family? God. Who gave me this health? God. Who gave me the strength? God. Who gave me the wisdom? God. Who gave me the eyesight? God. Who gave me the legs, the hands, the brain, the eyes, the ease to work, to think, to build, to make, to protect? God. I forgot. I forgot that I needed to go back to the one who is everything is the one who created everything and everyone. I forgot to go back to him and asked him, what would you like of me to do for you, Lord? I forgot. 
Do you want me to go into that business? Maybe not. God, because in this realm, everything is a dream because one day I will have to wake up from it. Spirit leaving the body is when I wake up. In this world, I'm a president of the United States of America. When the spirit leaves the body, <laughs> I'm a poor little human being begging for God's mercy when I face him. <laughs> what president? What Freemason? What elite? What Bill Gates? What George Soros? What else out there? Listen, I pray for everyone. I love everyone. But the truth will always be the truth. We will die no matter how long you try to live. The spirit will leave the body. Why? Because the spirit or the breath of life is the order from God. What God has given, no one can take away. No one, no one, no one. And God breathed into the nostrils of Adam the breath of life and Adam became a living being. This is the order from God. Only God can take that breath away from Adam. This is why no matter how advanced science will be, no matter, they will never ever be able to create life. Big Bang. They create a cell, but it's dead. In order to put life in it, they get a cell from a living being. <laughs> God, they can't create life. <laughs> they are a piece of dust. So what they have invented, these geniuses, listening to Satan, another lost genius, they have invented this AI, artificial intelligence. AI, AI, sounds like Aussie, AI, AI, <laughs> <I, I. laughs> so AI I, I became AI, AI, I. I, the geniuses coming up with AI. So what is AI? Artificial. That's all this poor little human being can come up with artificial. You cannot come up with the natural intelligence because the natural intelligence comes from one source. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So they will make you a dummy and that dummy can be your partner. Walk like an Egyptian. Oh, they'll put these special glasses here and make you live virtual life, artificial. Someone in America puts the goggles on and you are in Australia, put the goggle on, all of a sudden you're sitting on the same couch. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? It's one sick world. Let me tell you one thing. If you're living in a neighborhood, go and say hello to your neighbor. <laughs> Give him a box of chocolate. Show him love. Don't worry about viruses. What viruses? Show him love. The Lord wants you to love him. Love him. Don't worry about what you're going to do later. Don't worry about what will happen later. Don't worry about what is coming your way later because the Lord is aware of everything before it happens later. All you need to worry about now, this moment, is one thing. Focus on loving the Lord. 
Say, Lord, you are the word, knowledge. I'm coming today to get to know you. I want to know you because when I know you, that knowledge will lead me to loving you. I want to love you. But, be, but before I love you, I have to know you because I cannot know you as a stranger. I need to know you as my only friend, as my only holy companion. And in order to love you, I need to know you. Today I'm coming to your holy house. I want to learn to get to know you. Teach me, Lord, on how to know you. Show me the way to knowing you. When you begin this personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, getting to know this perfect God, perfect man at the same time, the more you get to know him, the more you will love him. The more you love him, he will give you life. But this life, no one can take away from you. It's eternal. And this life is your light. True knowledge is light. False knowledge is darkness. True light is life. Therefore, darkness is death. And why did darkness not comprehend light? Because when you're living a lie, how can you accept the truth? The world never accepted Jesus Christ. Why? Because he is the truth. And the world is a lie. It's placed in the bosom of Satan, the father of all lies. And don't be shocked when the world go against you and persecute you. Why? Because this is all it knows. It hates truth. It hates the light. Darkness hates light. The moment you speak about Jesus Christ, all hell breaks loose. You talk about Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, nothing happens. You speak about Jesus, everybody hates you. Why? We're sitting here peaceful. They're trying to take our religious of freedom so we don't talk about anything that offends a human being. But people go and chop heads and blow people's up into smithereens nobody talks 